New merch drop just went live. This is the biggest merch drop in all of Seaboys TV history, all designed by Micah Sandman, as well as we're running a 20% off sale from Black Friday through Cyber Monday. And to top it all off, you can get entered to win this CRF 110 at seaboystv.com. And we matched it. We matched it. It matches the whole drop. This is, this is fully, fully custom, man. One of a kind bike, and it's reflective. Anyways, let's get into the drop. We got a fully custom, life wide open, reflective windbreaker. These things look crazy when you hit them with like some light at night. We got flannels, we got hoodies, we got t-shirts, joggers, we got uh, COVID gator guard things if you're worried about COVID. And we got beanies, beanies, Fire. as well as some bags. We even hit the pink baggie for the for the, for the, for the 3%. Yeah, yeah, we only we only made two of them because there's only two <laughs> girls who watch our videos. Yeah. Uh, but, but actually this is probably the coolest thing of the whole drop, the life wide open tie down straps for your dirt bikes, your quads, whatever else you want to tie down. Three more hats, they're dope. Uh, you know I gotta wear a hat. Anyways. The hairline. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you guys don't feel like buying anything, no worries at all. We just appreciate you watching. We hope you all have a good Thanksgiving and let's get into the video. So if you're gonna purchase a Corvette, you're like, well, why not get the Z06? Or if you're gonna get a WRX, you're like, well, why not get the STI? Or if you're gonna get like a SRT8 Jeep, why not get the Trackhawk? <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. That's what we're doing today with the Maverick X3. The beloved Maverick X3. Everyone who watched it back when we had the one before we gave it away, it was like the best toy we ever had. Today we're gonna be meeting in a few minutes with some guys and we're gonna be buying the best Maverick X3 money can buy right now. Mm -hmm. Smart Shock, 72 inch wide, 2021. 192 horse stock and it's beautiful. Gonna be a beast. Holy shit. All right, here's the first look. Woo! This thing is so quiet. Oh my gosh. I was literally expecting it to go like, oh! Yeah, the way you're used to. Listen to that, you can talk right in front of it. So, we were mistaken, it's unfortunately not Smart Shocks, which I'm really sad about, but what do you do? It's still 72 inches wide and it's still really hard to find these RRs, that's why we had to drive six hours from home, but the thing is sick. But really, like, I know a lot of times we ask, is it on, but like, is it on? Oh, we got the built-in harnesses. That is sick. That's nice, dude. It fits. It does. I'm so excited. It still feels pretty good. Obviously, you guys know they make some crazy Apache tracks for that. The guy that was selling it to us just said that the front is actually made out of like an MXZ skid and the back is made out of like the 137 backcountry skid, back country skid which is insane. We'll see if we can get a pair, uh, set of those. What are you guys, what are you guys pulling on? I knew you guys were gonna do this. He's gonna come ripping in right here. It has a break-in mode, so we had to put miles on it. Oh, it goes 45. Smart. Yeah, it only goes 45. Are you serious? Yeah. Shut what? up. Shh, shh, shh. You can hear him. Sounds like a Dyson vacuum cleaner. There he is right there. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Brand spanking new. Are you serious? You have to break it in? Yeah. For how many miles? 
200? 200. Holy shit! Wow. This exhaust is pretty freaking quiet. I think that needs to be the first thing to go. Straight pipe! That is gonna be the okay, first yo, thing. Okay, yo, here's something for the boys back home. Our last Maverick was straight pipe. Was the loudest you could possibly make that thing. Obnoxious. <laughs> Too much to be quite honest. What do you guys think? Should we straight pipe again, or should we go for more of a mild exhaust? I, I mean, not just, mild. It'll still be loud, but just not cut out. Just yeah. not deafening loud. Yeah, let's get cut out. So it can be quiet, and then it can be super loud. Well, let's let's let them vote at home. Well, they're gonna want it to be loud. They don't they 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 don't have neighbors. They don't have to worry about our neighbors. <laughs> I missed this. Look at that. <laughs> it's already glowing. No way. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. Ah. Uh, you know, I always thought that was from uh, the lack of tuning on our old one, but apparently not. You're so hard on it, bro. It's giving you like probably one tenth throttle. Yeah. You try to power out during a slide, and it's just like, nope, nothing, nothing left. Like I want to hone this thing for the boys, but it's like. That's what Ryan Very was limited. saying. Like, it's I mean, literally going to be your job to put the miles on because without fine. that, it's useless. Well, we'll do it. Ben and I were talking today. He was like, dude, I want you to pull me on my skis behind the snowmobile across the lake. So that's that's what we're doing today. I think this is actually more of a CJ's idea and he just <laughs> tossed me into yeah. being the one to ski behind it. Okay, I was yeah, like, yeah. it might have been a little different. I, I might have came to him and been like, yo, you should go skiing behind the snowmobile. But yeah, we're doing it now. <laughs> I was like, what happens if I go down? And he was like, well, if you go down, I'm going to have to go down. And, we got a lot and we're going to have problems. a lot bigger problems then. So one hour left until this thing is out of braking mode and it goes over 45. I think that if we wanted to, we could sell the Maverick for more than we bought it for because we just did like the dirty work of it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to waste your time. Dude, that thing is hot. Oh, but I'd beat my own ass if I saw me wearing one of these. I cannot believe we're still doing this. I feel like I'm living like a bad dream that just keeps playing over and over. If you're like sitting on your butt bend with your skis tips kind of in the water, and then as soon as it takes, you just go. That's how I kind of envision it working. <laughs> I kind of envision just like starting on the cement and just like running down. Isn't there a little things on the back of the skis? The pins. pins? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, isn't that gonna mess you up? Probably. Can you carry that, Alex? Thank you, please. Yeah, what do you got on here? Don't worry about it. I give this uh, a 10% on the first try work. This is really dangerous to an extent, you know? It's, it's definitely not a light thing. Ready? Could you feel me back there, like on the takeoff? Uh, yeah. And then it was like I felt you, felt you, felt you, and then all of a sudden I was like, "Oh, this is going good." And I looked back, and it's gone. Gone. I think I should just do the skip. I don't think it's gonna work.
sunk it. Yes. Sunk it absolutely. Like, yeah. All right, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck, bro. Okay. <laughs> this, dude. It. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Go, drive, drive, drive. Boys, this cold. Dude, my nutsack is so cold right now. Holy shit, my nuts are cold. Oh, what happened? It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. We were hoping you'd be out there. Holy so we could... shit, dude. Oh. Blast of heat, bro. I'm so cold. We gotta go. It's like in, in the bay in front of CJ. Holy shit, dude. It's at least 80 feet down. Oh. You gonna be able to retrieve it? Yeah, we'll get it. Okay, well, cool, because uh, it's actually sitting at my house right now. Oh, what? Yeah, I just hopped off and hopped in the water. What? <laughs> oh. Oh, I was yeah. like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was the dumbest fing troll I've ever watched. <laughs> Wait, he just jumped in the water? Yeah. So you're not even cold? Yeah, it's just a prank. I'm yeah, not, I'm even, not cold even cold right now. <laughs> CJ hopped in and was like, we gotta go. I was like, where am I going? What do we have here? It's like getting an, it new all over again. Yeah, should we act surprised? Whoa! Well, boys, do we feel stupid? At the end of the day, it was, a, it was a collection of things. Like, if we would have not gotten the wrong key in the first place, none of this right. would ever happen. But my question here is, where did we get the 200 miles, 10 hours thing? We looked it up. That was I, me. I, right. I looked it up and found the same thing. One question. Like, How far did you guys reach up your ass and grab that? Google. Went straight to Google. Well, can you find it on Google? Because I asked Ryan to find it the next day and he's like, he couldn't find it. I'm like, oh, so this where? Is, he's just ashamed right now. The funniest part though, and I mean, we're just as much accountable. We spent 10 hours <laughs> trying to get miles on this thing because it can only go 45. Should we explain like what happened? All right, so basically Ryan and Micah picked this thing up. They came back. We take it off the trail and it's just slow as shit. And Ryan and Micah said that there was like a a 200 mile, 10 hour break in period. 200 miles or 10 hours. Yeah, or 10 hours. And I just assumed the guy that they bought it from told them that. So I was like, okay, let's start putting miles on it. So anyways, we're driving around for like four days. And then basically I was like sitting at home one morning. I was like, this does just, just does not make sense. I, how does anyone have time to do this? So I, I get on the internet, I start looking this up. I'm like, I can't find, I can't find this. So I start looking more in depth and I realized it should say performance key on the dash, not normal key. It is just poor wording on Can Am's part. Dude, I will honestly, say. Honestly, we're just overall bamboozled here. We are. We are slightly stupid, though. I'm not gonna <laughs> deny that. We're all. We're all accountable on that. <laughs> <You> literally, <laughs> picture the Google result that said I, 10 hours. No, I do. Miles. That is a thing. That is a thing. Like some idiot can just go on a form, say whatever they want, and then it'll pop up as the top yeah. Google result. You just can't uh, believe everything where, everyone that's says. That's I, <laughs> I read it on a form. Well, who wants it? <laughs> All right, I'll do it. For sure. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I would have probably hit it three times as fast and ended up over there. Yeah, this is perfect! Hit Ken's smart car jump. You think you could do it? You think it's better to come up short or go far? Don't worry about going short or long, just hit it right. Easy! Yeah. Easy! Let's go! <laughs> Dude, it's definitely not a side by side track, but we're making it one today. Yeah. Holy oh, crap! <laughs> <laughs> I love Ben's coping mechanism. He just laughs instantly. 
Yeah. It was a gang of Harleys. We saw them all. We told them, to get, get out of here, get out of here. Holy shit, Ken. Nice goddamn job. I didn't know I was driving. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Shit. Did that look as gnarly as it felt? Yeah, it was a, a full-on bottom out. Yeah, it felt like a full-on bottom out. <laughs> All right, let's park it. Yeah, I'd say so. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I'm trying to. Uh, dude, just open your eyes. Okay, so this is the 2021 <laughs> brand new race sled. 600. Fuel injected. Fuel injected, that's the biggest part. It's a mouthful. Race sled hasn't been fuel injected, at least for Polaris. So this is the new, the new guy. This and is the uh, new giveaway. That's what it is, Mike. This, this is the new guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. We All have right. some important information to tell you. Okay, so tonight, if you order till midnight, you're entered to win the pit bike and the sled. So like, that's a pretty sweet deal. And if you miss that, that's okay. The sale still goes till Cyber Monday and this giveaway still goes for a while past that. Don't miss it, new drop. Thanks for watching the video. Happy Thanksgiving. See you guys next week. I think the camera got hit with mud. It did. We're gonna probably want to clean it nicely. It looks a little bit. Yeah, Mike, come There's around that, that corner again. That was sick. Let me see. Turn around. Right on this side here. Yeah, you don't see that. I feel like we're gonna want to clean it. Because if it's like slightly. Whoa. The pants are on, there's a bunch of stuff in there. I don't my dick to be. What is this? A lot of dirt. <laughs> it's fine. I think it might have been from the first pogo stick. <laughs> Hold on. Should be okay. 